Hey everybody! Yeah, load of my save. Here we are with more Chrono Cross. We're gonna head over to Terra Tower. You do it. Oh, right. Alright, well I can switch here. Starkey out, kid in. Let me just make sure she has, like, rainbow equipment and... Prison dagger, prison Yeah, she doesn't have a helmet, but uh, I don't need to make helmets. Let's, let's go in. Alright. First color is yellow. The ochre lands have dried up and withered. Is it your will to choose destruction? We have to fight the yellow boss. There are bosses for each color in here. Okay, here we are with the Terra Tour. Obviously, Glenn is going to be of good use here. Wave of Fear. Spirits up. Okay. Ah! Alright, Bush Basher it is. Especially he's got the field completely yellow now. Do you think, Glenn? Ugh, missing. Jeez, good physical attacks there, though. Gash and gash. Nice damage. Capsule. Another capsule. He's not recovering a lot, but he's filling up the field with yellow, so it's kind of irritating. Alright, kid. Omega yellow. Oof. At least it wasn't on Glenn. I was hoping to kill him before he did that, but... Now would be a good time for heal all. Perfect. Oh, he's weakened. It's a wave of fear again. And spirits up. Trying to raise his defense, raise his defense, but it ain't working for him, really. Arrow Blaster. Boom! Yeah, I think that's it. So, so much for the yellow guy. Okay, 42 stars. Sergey, 5 hit points, a strength of resistance. Glenn, 9 hit points, a strength of resistance, a magic, a level 7 spot on the grid. Kid, 4 hit points, and a strength. And I got Yellow Field. Okay. I could have used Genie there, come to think of it. Ah, uh, no, I can't go that way. All right. Should attack the enemies here since, you know, fighting so many bosses we can get a lot of hit points and stuff by fighting every enemy we see. There's really no reason to walk past enemies unless you are max, but there's so many bosses in here, you're not going to have that many opportunities to. Here's a Terror Terror. They're white and eight, so Sergei's a little less effective, but as you can see, his physical attack is good enough. Hey, Sergey, two hit points, Glenn a hit point, and I got a Nostrum. Okay. Like this. Another Nostrum. And now we're going to push this thing over. And walk across. 
across. There's another Terra Terror. I like to think that the Terra Terrors are actually like the ghosts of reptites or something, you know? He's got some buddies. Mike so my sets. They're all white and eight, so I'll be that as it may. I'm not having that much of a problem as you can see. Uh free fall. And I'm free Free Fallen. Rock and roll, baby. Rock and roll, Glenn. Rock and roll, McDonald's. All right. Do it. Do it hard. And I'm free. Free fall. And I was a little late on that one. Oh, still alive, huh? If I had, like, Grobic with me, I could have used Grim Reaper. <laughs> what would be the point, right? Okay, so I got two hit points, Glenn, a hit point, Kid, a hit point, and I got two Angel Charms, that's very nice, and a Nostrum. I could totally take those apart to get, um... Oh, what is the white one called? It's, like, shiny... I think it's... It's not shiny amber, that's black, I forget. Oh, well. I'd have to see what I actually need to get Prism Helms, though. Right. Right, he's got two little guys with him. What are they called? E ectoplasms. Let's take out the big guy first, though. Weak-minded. Okay, you could do that, I guess. Asshole. Plasma Beam. Which is blue. I wonder if they're using blue... No, I was going to say, I wonder if they're using blue because they're focusing on kid. Now they're using red. Yeah, so clearly they're not smart. Jesus Christ, how many times are they going to go? I should have used an element. That's okay. Clearly don't need to. Got enough with the fucking red, huh? Well, that one is red. See how he likes some ice blast. Frozen! Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay, Sergey, two hit points, Glenn, a hit point. And I got. Three nostrums. Very good. Continuing on oop, down this way. You can see there's another one there, which I will attack. Come here, you! You bother me! This is a rather long dungeon, but... We'll get through it, no problem. One single Terra Terror in this one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah! You see, the battles are not exactly taking a long time here, are they? Hmm. So I'm rocking it. Okay, Sergei gets hit points. And that's it, huh? Okay. It's something. Continue down, continue down. Thought I saw one there, but oh well. There's one here. All right. Ugh, they're butt buddy ectoplasms with it. I'm gonna focus on them first because they're just way more annoying. Fire pillar. I'm doing it on the character that's gonna take the least damage from fire pillar. Gonna play it safe. Even though the middle guy's white. I'm sure I'll take good damage from this anyway. Oh, actually it healed him. 
That's all right. I haven't heard him yet, so it's not like it mattered. And that L Luminaire fatigued him anyway, so it's not like he healed anything because he wasn't hurt. So you know, there you go. I think I'm gonna stick to physical attacks here. What is kid burned? Must be. He's a meteorite. I'm the one. I'm the guy that can take the least damage from meteorite. All right, kid, you do it. Okay, that's it. It's over there. All right, I'll have to heal those burns. Okay, our max uh, Sergey hit point, a strength of resistance, go on a hit point, a strength of resistance. Okay, a hit point, a strength of resistance, and a magic. And I got a defender and two nostrums. So now I'll start avoiding enemies at least until the next star level. All right, so let's see. Use anointment. They have plenty of ointments. Oh, there was a guy there. Look at that. I want to go past this guy? Yeah, it looks like I have to fight him if I want to go down there, and I think I do. Right, that's not that big of a deal. It's like just when I max, though. It's funny. It would have been cool if this guy maxed me, but whatever. So is he alone? Yes, he is. This is going to be very quick. Told you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a defender. Down we go. No strum. Can I go this way? Yes, I can. Whoa, hello. I really don't want to fight if I don't have to, you know? Okay. Of course, now I'm wondering, like, what was the other way? Let's see. Actually, I think... No, there's no point. I'm not worried about it. If I miss, like, one or two treasure chests, it really kind of doesn't matter at this point. This is the last dungeon. go up here, because there was a treasure chest I saw back there that I could easily get. Come on. Oh, this breaks. Fuck. Woo! Fuck that. My bad. <laughs> you are supposed to do that, though. Sergey. Sergey. Am I going to fight the red one? You finally made it this far, Sergey. What was that? Are you human? When I was still human, I was locked up here, and I've been here ever since. This tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient reptiles, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragons. With the defeat of fate, the seal has been broken, and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed abnormally to three times the original size in the span of three million years. We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with Lavos's flame. In a sense, mankind is Lavos's offspring. We humans are extraneous to this planet. Now, how will you fight, Sergei? getting there. I, I should be coming up on the red guy soon. Up we go. Yeah, nice. Avoided him good. Uh, I guess down this way. Yep, yep, this is right. Ah. Oh well. We'll get him. Alright, 
just two of these fuckers. Hmm. Glenn, do your shit. Do your shit. It's like I tried to say shit and stuff at the same time. Meteorite. And you're gonna use it on Sergey, aren't you? Dumbass. Didn't even take a scratch. Sergey's so tough a meteorite doesn't even hurt him. Kid! Yeah, cut him up. She's like, oh no you didn't. Don't think I won't cut you, bitch. This way you're out there. Let me check out there. I thought that might be the case. Pack of Lies is uh, a unique weapon for Snaf if you use him. Which I do not. Oh! I didn't think. I thought I let go of the button. Alright, I'm not gonna fight him. I'll just run away. But I thought I let go of the button in time, but I did not. No reason to fight him. Okay. I want to grab this. Defender plus. Oh, I think I'm going to have to... Oh, I avoided him that way. Alright, there you go. <laughs> That's one way to avoid a battle, is to fall off the fucking thing. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, boy. I'm so gonna sneeze. <laughs> oh, am I going the wrong way? I don't know, am I? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Derp. My bad. Go away, dude. I don't want to fight you. Uh, yes, this is the way. Okay. It's like I know I had to go down to go up, but I was on the wrong area. Got this shit. I got this shit. Mm -mm -mm, this is bananas. Here we go. Oh, I climb up there, right? Okay. Derp. Grab that. Rainbow shell. Rainbow shell. Oh! A little faster than I thought he was, but I can get away from him. No big deal. I'm gonna take advantage of that, like, two seconds that the enemy is, like, they, they stand still after you run away from them and just go slightly to the left and then up and then I should be free from them. No reason to fight them. If I'm not going to gain anything from it, right? I mean, you gain money and maybe they'll drop something, but we're at the very end here, so... I don't need any of that. Ugh. Let's see. Oh, oh, they actually chase you down. That's what it is. I think I can get away from him. Yeah, they kind of zone in on me there. Ugh. This has got the little bubble guys, too. Fuck that noise, bro. Alright, we're good. Right, get, get on the thing. Okay, we're good. Can you move away? I'm gonna have to fight this guy, because he won't move away from the thing. Alright. That sucks. Oh, it looks like just the one, which is very quick. Ah, he's interrupting with... What is this shit? What are you doing? Oh, no, don't do that! Oh, I hate you so much. Cure Plus, don't do Cure Plus. Oh, yeah, do it on the one I haven't hit yet. Dick bag. Hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, plasma beam, plasma beam. Plasma beam. Luminaire! Still alive. Go ahead and take these bitches out. Oh! Don't miss. You're not gonna miss with Ice Blast, or as I call it, S Blast! Alright, rock and roll, baby, rock and roll. Three nostrums there. Alright. Getting there. It's a thin area. I think if anything wants to fight me, I'm gonna fight it. <laughs> no, there's nothing there. We're good. Okay, we're back here. Back in the first room. Yo! Push that over. Push this over. And can totes go up this way. Oh, okay, it's doing that clock chime thing, which makes me think I'm near another boss. Yeah, there's the red guy. It's gonna be called Pyrotor. Something like that. Many have bled, suffered, and perished. It is your turn to die. Pyrotor. He's the ultimate red guy. Obviously, physical attacks work really well. You use blue elements when you have them from Sadness Wave. That's for attack going down. Which sucks, but here comes Deluge! And by the way, I'm pretty sure if you steal from these guys, you get pretty cool shit. It's just like, who cares at this point, you know? For an LP, it's not that big of a deal. He's using a tablet. He probably used more than one because it's a very weak healer. Only 30 hit points. But he's just filling up the fucking field with red doing that shit. Yeah, three tablets in a row. Possibly more. Ice Blast. Ass Blast. For your ass. Good. It's weakened, too. Ass Blast. Might be able to just do it physically here. Yeah, it's... Oh, no, he's attacking. Miss me. Miss me again. Miss me a third time. And now you die. That's over for him. Burn it all away. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, 43 stars. Sergei, 12 hit points of strength and a resistance. Gl and a level 7 spot. Glenn, 7 hit points of strength and resistance. And Kid, 3 hit points of strength and resistance and magic and a level 7 spot. And I get a red field. And once again, like, I could start fighting enemies, but I'm just like, oh, what's the fucking point? I'm actually going to avoid the enemies. Just to try and make it so the video isn't, like, way too long. Normally I would fight enemies now because of, uh, you know. Let's see here. Yeah! So I just start up. But I don't need to. There's, there's no reason to. I will grab that treasure chest, though. Rainbow shell. I do want to see if I can... Oh, my... Why won't he move? Oh, alright. That's fine, but it's like, let me fight the guy. I don't just, like, stop. 
If I find a record of fate, I'll uh, see if I can make prison homes. Let's see what we got. Cupoids, and these guys are white. Die. Die, Cupid, die! Free fall. And I'm free! Free falling! Did it. So we get hit point, win two hit points, kid a hit point, and uh, two panaceas or panaceas or however. I don't know how you say that word. I've only ever seen it written down. Somebody let me know. See if I can. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to be able to get past him. Some of these fuckers are kind of... These are small areas, you know? It's okay, at least they're easy. Stop missing. Uh, whatever, man. It doesn't matter. It's weakened enough that I'm pretty sure any element that's not white is probably going to take them out. I was correct. Go ahead and don't fuck up like Sergei did. Call a healing. It's just enough that it's probably going to survive when I use free fall. That's why I have kid. And I'm free! Free falling! Alright, good. Boom. Alright, hit points, hit point, hit points, and I'm gonna see us. The fuck, alright. You can see sort of the spot where I'd be able to get past him. Yo! Spectral Glove. That was only to get here, too. What the fuck was I thinking? Come on. Come on, move away. Ah, oh, shit. Did it. Yeah, I'm supposed to climb up this way. could get that, but I don't care enough. <laughs> I really don't. Look at this. Could this be? Viper Manor? What is going on? Viper Manor with motion blur. Look. Let's talk to Balthasar. Welcome. It is good to see you finally made it here. I've been expecting you, Sergei. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist, but don't mind that. More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. Who are you? Oh, my name is Balthasar. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as the Sage of Reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Let's just say people got... <laughs> Let's just say things got out of control and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply that one... No <laughs> I was then able to apply to that the knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which was long lost in the future. Anyway, this led me to make huge progress in the research of time. Well, that research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think I really blew it, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. <laughs> anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. I used it to time warp to this age, to learn of Chronopolis and Fate's plans, and to see how things were turning out.
Terra Tower is really a city of the Reptites from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, the castle of Azala's descendants who achieved an evolution much more intimate with our planet. Dinopolis was drawn into the dimension's past about 10,000 years ago. This was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Needless to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. But more important now is the role the dragons play in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon gods resided. But then fate sealed away the dragon gods' powers, in effect becoming a god itself. Thus the islands where the new godhead fate existed came to be known as the Sea of Eden instead. Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the dragon gods to eliminate fate. It was not true that the dragon gods sealed away the frozen flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal up the dragon gods. In reality, the dragon gods are op in opposition to man, while fate itself was acting as the protector of humanity. The dragon gods were originally a singular plasma life form, a living accumulation of the planet's energy. Originally, it was a biological machine used to control the powers of nature in the future society of the reptites. In order to control the natural energy itself, fate divided the one dragon god entity into six weaker plasma life forms, then scattered them across the land and sealed them away. Their dragon-like appearance are just pseudo guises temporary forms that they take, so that they can appear in this dimension. But all that changed when fate was vanquished, and its power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragons, who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten, traveled across the dimensions to reunite into a single entity. Seven dragons? I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of, and one more hidden dragon you didn't like the second moon that was once lost, but later was found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two moons. Look up at the night sky now, and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars, and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored dragons, ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white sky dragon, and another darker daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, the sky dragon, and one more, the final dragon, the dark moon dragon. The one who was to work to free the other dragons from their bondage by the fate computer. The child the others created on the night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you know her as Harl. Unbelievable! The dragon gods were the essence of nature in this planet. Perhaps we can consider what's happening as our planet's vengeance on us. To finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the face of this blue planet. First it was fate, now it is the planet. Or vice versa, but either way you look at it, now is the time to set things right. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately, the time for us to part has come. Hey, mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? The Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross time, space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw on the sounds of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. I'm sure we'll meet again soon in one time period or another. Be careful now, and good luck. Okay. You actually just go back and actually things have changed a little bit. This 
is opened up. I'm not worried about the treasure chest. Now the song is actually playing here. So if you kind of know what tones go with what colors, this is the actual song that you have to play. But we're not quite done. Here's the green guy. I believe this is going to be called... Oh, Return Our Trees. I think it's Verator. Something like that. Give back our green forests. I think it's called Verator. I forget the name of it. We'll find out in like two seconds. Oh, Animal Tour. Alright. Check. Could use Greenfield, but I don't have, like, somebody to use, uh, Thunder Snake or anything, so. Oh, look at this, with this Infoscope. He's only doing that to fill the field up with green, too. Alright. Let's with Electro Bolt. Glenn, it's got a little bit of a resistance to your attacks, but we'll go with that heal plus. Right when he weakened, and that's a good healing thing, as you see. Just quick. Bam, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Bushwhacker. It's the weakest green element there is. He's probably going to use it a bunch of times. Now, Bob Bush Basher. I hope it doesn't mean he's going to use Carnivore next. Not oh, Arrow Saucer. And then he'll probably use Arrow Blaster then. All on Kid. She's got a green status element, which I assume is Afraid. Oh, Poison. Alright. Oh, yeah. It's over. Yeah, it's over. So much for Animator. Right, logically, next would be blue, the, the uh, Aquator, but I think it actually opens it up to different paths at this point. It's like, figure out the rest of the song yourself. <laughs> Asshole. Alright, so 44 stars. Sergey, 7 hit points of strength. The resistance, a level 8 spot on his grid. Weird spot there. Glenn, 11 hit points of strength. 2 strength and a resistance. And Kid, 5 hit points and a magic. And I got a green field. Which I already had one. Let's heal that poison. No, oh, use. Um. I guess it's gonna have to use this. Just go back? I think so. Or do I stand on that, actually? You know, I think I actually gotta go just stand on that. Bombs, yellow, red, green, blue, black, white. Yes! Okay. Sergey, up there. That's where we're going. That must be the summit. Look, those two beams coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some kind of sealing device. Oh yeah, and we'll be taking care of those, but let me, uh, see if I- not the teleporter, damn it. Oh. I want to see if it's possible for me to make prison homes. Um, let me see what I need. Oh, I would need to do. Yeah, do is blue, but um, 
me see about some of the stuff that I've picked up. Actually, wait. Accessories. The specific things that I know I want to... Shiny soul. I'll take it apart, though. I had more than one. Um... Up, 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 up. Let me check these, actually. No. Spectral Glove. There we go. I'll only be able to make one. It's for Sergei. I can find the damn prison home. Where is it? Is it near the top? There it is, yep. Okay, we're good. So let's go this way first, since I'm closer to it. Ooh. Thankfully this part is nice and thick, so you could walk past the enemies pretty easily. If that's what you want to do, which is what I decided I'm doing here. jumps you over there. That's such a cool effect, too. Oh, this is the black. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there is a blue one. I think it's just black and white. So this should be, um... I think it's like Nick's store or something like that. Nick's a tour or something like that. I forget. Gravitor. Alright. So this is the black one. I mean, you kind of figure that they skip blue, so you figure that blue is after, you know, or maybe, yeah, I don't know. It's it's not that hard to figure it out. I'm just going to hit him with what I can right away. I certainly have no shortage of white elements. Start with Luminaire. Oh, yeah, very cool. <laughs> he leads off with a Nostrum. Dick. Meteor shower. Plus two. Kid. Omega black. Well, he's not doing it to Sergei, that's the good thing. Or does this hit everybody? No, he's, he's concentrating on Glenn. ET there. Photon beam! Oh yeah. Sergey, let's do it. It's over. I didn't even get I was gonna use flying arrow there, but I didn't need to. It's over for him. So much for the black one. <coughs> Alright, yeah, alright, stats, stats, I don't need to read it out, do I? Really? I mean, come on. And you get Black Hole, which is a really cool element, but I don't have anybody that's going to use it, so... And that takes care of one of the two beams. We take care of the white guy, which is going to be... Ooh, what is it called? I think it's Orator. I could be wrong on that, but that's my guess. It's been a long time. Boom! Very cool. I love that. That is just like so badass. It's like, All right, going this way. These guys need to get your little increments, but I'm I'm powerful enough to beat the game at this point. So, you know. 
I mean, we got one hard boss, and then we got one boss that could be really hard, but if you play the song, it ends the battle, so. More of a puzzle boss. Hey, you gotta not get blown off here, too. Oh! We're wandering to this, like, fucking cherub, guys. Shit, man. I ain't gonna fight him. Run, run away, stab again another day. Right, back off a little bit. Come on. Oh, Jesus, really? There we go. We go. Able to leave tall buildings in a single bound. So this should be the white one. Yep. Yeah, I don't know the name. I'm thinking Orator, but I could be wrong. Luxator. Yeah, I was off on that one. Alright, that's okay. It went Latin. Stepping on me. You're attacking the one guy who has the biggest resistance to your attacks, too, you dumbass. You should attack the one with the least hit points. You kid. I mean, if you do have, like, Grobic or somebody, it's a good time to use that black hole. I don't need it though. And I'm free! Free falling, motherfucker! Glenn. There we go. And I'm free! Free fucking falling! Holy healing. Wow. That's a lot of fucking hit points, too. Likely it doesn't take me that long to do that kind of damage. And I'm free! Oh, God. Free falling on your fucking asshole. Sergey, do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Magnify? You might literally regret that. Unless Sergei takes you out right here. Oh, he's gonna do an Omega White. Well, she's the one that has the least hit points, but she's at full health, so I'm not too worried about Omega White. Oh! Well, I guess I'll be reviving her, huh? Well, I'm glad to do it. I have a lot of fucking damage. Oh, I could use Saints, but it would heal him. That sucks. Alright, here we go. And I'm free! Free falling! Please let that be it. Oh, he's weakened, at least. Kid. That's it. It's over. Only one more boss. Well, two more, but only one more boss in this video. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get an Ultra Nova, which I will be equipping. It's a Sergei. Not that I would probably... Well, I might use it in the next battle, actually. It's a good element to have. And if I could show it off once, that'd be cool. So let me actually do that. Alright. Let me 
shield is gone. Oh, shit! Just going back through this annoying thing. We're good. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let me check my hit points, actually. You know, we're good, we're good. This is it. Oh, do I have to fight the blue guy? It's out of order. Yeah, blue would be after green. Disrespecting the origins of life. Mother C suffers, you must pay the price. So it's almost an honor, because it's yellow, red, and then green, and then you, you know, black and white at the end, but, uh, they put blue at the end, so it's kind of like a little messed up, but. Suck. Magma burst. <laughs> and he look, look what he's called. I'm like 98% sure it's Aquator. Nimble. Yeah, go ahead, do that. Actually, don't do that, because it's Aveda. And Vigora. And Nimble. Lovely. Yeah, Aquator. Yeah. Okay, kid. You're the one that's red and eight. Oh, don't miss. Well, he's got that fucking nimble on himself. Missed me. Except for all those other times. Really? Really? They all gotta use a healing element. It's not like I gotta power up that far, though. Blammo! Alright, sir guy. Take this bitch out. Right there! Is it over? Nah, no, he's using Omega Blue. Shit. I was hoping. At least he's not doing it to kid. This should do it, though. If not, Glenn will physical him out. That's it. It's over. Goodbye, motherfucker. Or oh, he's like, I got it. I got it. No, I don't got it. I'm turning into water. All right. Goodbye, motherfucker. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even care at this point. Doesn't matter, and I get to get a blue field, so that's cool. Yellow. Red. You're being explicitly shown at this part. Green. Blue. Black. White. So you're, like, explicitly shown the song there, so if you don't get it by this point... Honestly... Stop playing games. Stop playing RPGs, you know? There are lots of games that don't require thinking. Or even following instructions, you know? It's kind of like going to Viper Manor, except way cooler. It's very similar, though. Look at the way it looks. It's even shot from, like, the opposite angle. We are here. We have arrived. Uh, arg! Help! Stop it! 
Kill me. Welcome. Welcome, humans. Those who know the torment and joy of creation also know the pleasure and pain of destruction. Therefore all that pass through here must be prepared to share the burden that I carry. I'm gonna make the music louder because this is gonna be epic music. Frozen flame. So this is the true phrase in flame. Struth! Hold on, don't touch it! Is everyone okay? Bugger you! Us humans ain't gonna let you have your way any longer! Come on, show your bloody self! Ask and you shall receive. In order to survive all living things in this world, fight desperately and devour those they defeat. Must one kill other living things in order to survive? Must one destroy another world in order to allow one's own world to continue? Wounded in turn, wound and torment those weaker than they themselves are. There are only the killers and the killed, the sinners who are judged and the victims that do the judging. What meaning is there to such a world? Whether there's meaning to our lives or not, we still go on living, you know. You've got no right to deny that. I shall cleanse this blue planet of you filthy humans once and for all. Here we go. Time for our battle against the Fused Dragon! If you think this is going to be easy, you're wrong. It's not that bad, though. Alright, Fused Dragon. He's white right now. I think he changes color. Oh, can't hit him. I think he does change colors, I, I forget, though. It's actually working out that he's white right now. Grab a ton. Glenn! Your dual Einlanzers! Fuck him up! And I'm free. Free fucking falling. Attacking Glenn. And I'm fucking free. Free fucking falling. Time warp. Okay, he has always yellow as first. So another hint at what you're supposed to do with the colors. Blaster. Alright, Glenn, you were made for this part. Oh! Why'd you miss? Uplift. Really? Uplift? Okay. I assume an upheaval's coming like right after that. What's he doing at the kid? Oh no, fireball. 
Oh, he's playing the song, Yellow Red. Green, blue, yeah. Bushwhacker, Aqua Beam. At least the first part of it he's playing. Oh, don't do that! Oh, fuck. Alright, that's okay. Go back. Sonic Sword! That's good damage. Now you see part of why I wanted to have all the colors. Time Warp! You should be heading to uh, Mount Pyre next. That was Earth Dragon Isle, should be Mount Pyre. Yep, Mount Pyre. It's after yellow comes red. go quite a bit back to get a blue. It's alright. Ice Blast in your face! As you see, the vast majority of the attacks are come the, the damage is coming from attacks. Here comes Magma Bomb! See, now, yeah, he did yellow, red, green, now he'll do red, green, blue. So this should be, yeah, Arrow Saucer and then Ice Lancer, because he's doing level 2s. Piece it together, you know. Time for Deluge. Should be heading to Gaia's Naval next. Where, if he continues the pattern, he'll probably use Bushwhacker, uh, Bushwhacker, Aqua Ball, and Graviton on me. Alright, I'm gonna use Earthquake. Up yours! Surefire Roach Killer. Alright, I need a yellow. Electro Bolt! Oh no, he's going big. Alright, tornado. Shit. Will he use a blue element next? Ooh, I don't think I need anything after that. And alright. Uh, I know it's green, but I gotta use heal all. the damage comes from fucking attacking anyway. If I don't miss so much... Alright, just use something... Uh, I don't want to use Inferno. Use Ice Blast. Physical text on Sergei. Alright, that's cool. Alright, upheaval it is. Come on, Sergey, end this fucking shit. Yeah, okay, we're heading off to, uh, should be Water Dragon Isle. Yep. 
Pepper. If it doesn't damage you most of the time. If you have, like, shitty armor, it might damage you. Oh, yeah. Alright. Inferno. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what is it doing? It's a nameless element. That wasn't too bad. Alright, we're good. It actually has a physical attack, even though it seemed to charge up. You see, it was a nameless tech, but it didn't go on the field. attack again. I, I know what I want to do. Hot shot. I could get off Salamander, maybe if Sergei used, like, Fireball or something, then I switch right to her, but... Whatever. Very good. Yep! We're done there. See? We didn't need Salamander. Alright, this should take us over to Marbule. Sergey, you're the star. Holy light. Stamina is kind of sucking right now. Meteorite. He's doing the free fall Tom Petty thing. And I'm fucking free, I'm fucking falling. Free fucking falling. Alright. Photon beam. over. Yeah, okay, so this should take us back. This might take us to Sky Dragon Isle or back to Terra Tower. I forget the way it works. I think it'll take us to Sky Dragon Isle first, though. No, it's back to Terra Tower for the end of it. Alright, let's defend. Who's not defending? Everybody is? Yeah, okay, we're good. He's black now? No, he's still white. Shit. No, yeah, white, white. White, white for the end. Hold on. That's a Nostrum. Hellbound ain't gonna work. Graviton. Something. Should have not used elements at the very beginning. I used up my free falls there. He ain't got much left, though. Ultra Nova. Well, you didn't get to see me do it, you're gonna see him do it. Not too bad. This kid went down. Okay. I could have used the Chrono Cross there. I was gonna if. to refill my elements, but. Need to revive her. Use the nostrums. So that'll put some black on the field and heal up anybody who's low. It's over. Oh yeah, you fucking die, asshole. So much for dragon gods. Last star. Yep.
earring of hope. Now I shall truly awaken again. This too is destiny. That thing, the Dragon God, is only a quasi-existence. A temporary form that the real Dragon God uses in order to appear within this dimension. The actual Dragon God was consumed long ago in the distant past. Integrated by the entity known as Lavos in a time on the other side of the dimensional darkness. The frozen flame is a splinter from the extraterrestrial being Lavos. The one who connects with the frozen flame, in effect, links with Lavos itself. As the mediator between Lavos and living things, that one will gain extraordinary powers by binding with the new seed of destruction, the Devourer of Time. What in the blazes is a devourer? What in blazes is a devourer of time? Now go to the place where time became divided, and weave the threads of time together again, Chrono Trigger. The Devourer of Time is a new life form born out of the fusion of a life form from this planet, with Lavos, who nests on the far side of the dimensional void. In the far-off future, when the fusion becomes complete, it will awaken. Then the devourer of time will begin to consume all space-time continua, despair and hatred, to return all things to nothingness. That is what it desires. Here, take this with you. Get the time egg. That time egg will enable you to travel beyond space-time. The world is in your hands. Go! Release the life that is imprisoned! Bad fucking ass. That doesn't bode well. Oh, it's a terror tower. Oh, there was a treasure chest there. Oh, well. Terra Tower is sinking. Crippy, what in bloody hell's happening? This place is going to crumble to pieces. I almost feel like there was something cut out here because it goes through this whole morphing thing and there's really not that much of a point to it. There you go. So that's Terra Tower's tr final true form. In the end, we're all the same. Everyone dreams of being greater, more powerful. We've come this far. All that remains is to, de to defeat the Devourer of Time. Once we wipe the Devourer of Time off the face of this planet, it is all over. Hopefully everything will go back to normal again. You're wrong. Things will never go back to the way they were. Destiny. Fate is dead. From now on, us humans have to choose our own way in life. We also have to take responsibility for the choices we do make. And something's got to be done about the way we go hurting and killing, on, killing one another. We've got to settle our differences once and for all. Listen, what's really important is what we do now. The issue ain't whether we defeat that bastard or not. 
I'm afraid that depending on how we go about it, we could lose out on gaining something real precious. So the issue is the way we fight. This is the hint as to how to actually win here. Because you could defeat him and get the bad ending. So where on earth is the real devourer of time? My guess is the key to finding it lies at that beach. That's where this whole thing started. It's probably where this whole thing will end. And it is indeed where it will end. But that will be next time. I will see you then with the final episode.